My husband is Jim Campbell. Um, we met on my island um, about 1983. The cliche is love at first sight. It was love at first sight. I saw him, he didn't see me, but I thought he was a gorgeous man. We had a lot in common and um, shared a great friendship. He was sent to my island to do marine life, research marine life. The friendship grew um, very strongly but Jim had to come back home because his contract was over. When, I, when he moved back here to Prince Edward Island, um, I guess the friendship we had was a very well-respected friendship. It was profound, it was loving, but I didn't think, because of our difference in culture, I didn't think it would have gone anywhere because all the time we were great friends, uh, the idea of marriage never came up. He called relentlessly, and I thought I was actually in love with a crazy man because the cost of telephone back then in 1983 was like $2.35 a minute. So I remember asking him at one point, do you have shares in the telephone company back here? So of course, in one of those many conversations, he suddenly asked if I'll marry him, and I thought that he was joking, so I did hang up the phone. Then he called back and he said he was serious, and I stopped torturing him and said, oh yes, I'll try it. So from a tropical island to Prince Edward Island that has all these lovely seasons, here I am and that was 28 years ago. I do have a stack of telephone bills I'll never throw away because we could have had a fantastic house for all the money he paid Island Tell, but that was love. <laughs> and that is love, because we're still in love, so. My name is Shelley Campbell, and I am from Tyne Valley, originally from the island of Nevis in the Caribbean. Welcome to the Bitterfoot Parsonage Museum, and hope you like it. We are in the room that Lucy Maud stayed in when she lived here at the Bedford Parsonage. Uh, she came in the house to live on the 3rd of August, 1894. And uh, when she fir first walked into this room, in her journal somewhere is recorded that um, she thought that the room was too big, but she loved it anyway. And the perfect way she described it in her writings in her journal was that the window in my bedroom at Bedford commanded a lovely view of the bay. And very fortunately, we can still see that lovely view that she wrote about all these years ago. The fascinating thing about this job um, is learning quite a lot about the different items that people have saved in their homes for a long time. And the donors of the museum are part of the history, uh, history making, creating this museum. And there is a proudness about them when they talk about the artifact that they are donating, especially if it is something in the family, and they get a chance to talk about it, how, is imp how important it was for them back then. That gives me great pleasure that I get to document that thing and then show it off. And, um, that, that is really fascinating for me. Every Wednesday evening for a number of years now, we've been having the opportunity to talk about, a little more about Lucy Maud, about her writings. We have chosen this year books that she wrote over a hundred years ago, stories that she wrote over a hundred years ago, and we bring it to life in a reading for an hour or so. At the end of that reading, we have a little social time, just like they did back then as well. The world is fascinated with Lucy Maud simply because she was a great author. She wrote well, she wrote beautiful stories, um, she was very descriptive with her stories, and um, she actually did put Prince Edward Island on the map, because even though all her books were written over a hundred years ago, People are still reading them, they're still talking about them, and you can't talk about those books unless you bring up Prince Edward Island. For one author to bring so many people together, I think that is really fascinating. To work in this museum in particular is very meaningful to me because um, I get to know a little bit all about the history and the culture of the place that I have adopted as my community.